Assault? No! What the? <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Johnny, you know how I feel about salt-related pranks? Sorry, Dad. We're bored, and pranking seemed like a good idea. Listen, son, pranking can be fun, but it can be trouble, too. I know. I used to make funny prank phone calls back in the day, but... Wait. <laughs> funny? Prank? Oh, yeah. Prank calling was the best thing ever, until the day I pranked the wrong guy. He really didn't find it funny. Hear that, Dookie? Prank calling is the best thing ever. Let's do it! Thanks for the advice, Dad! So I skipped town, got plastic surgery, and changed my name to Dad. Dad! A call from the test house! This is it! Susan is finally calling to ask me out! <clears throat> Why, hello. Hello. <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> well, I... Uh... But Johnny Test! Nice try, but I have caller ID! Well, that was terrible. Let me try. <laughs> Pork Belly Animal Hospital, how may I help you, Mr. Test? Yes, I'm looking for... Wait, you know who this is? Of course, we have caller ID. By the way, Dookie is due for his checkup. <laughs> uh, sorry, I dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Well, that was more terrible. Uh, how come Dad could prank call people and we stink at it? Because with today's technology, it's impossible to phone prank anyone. Too bad we can't prank call someone in the past when they didn't have caller ID. Dookie, you're a genius! Perfect shot. Thanks, but it was supposed to make the target disappear. This is the worst dematerializing ray ever! If only we could get advice from an experienced inventor. Hey, sisters who I'm not trying to get something from. I was just wondering if you ever put a phone in the Turbo Tea House time machine? Why would we do that? Just seems like if you made a time machine, you'd also have a phone in it to call people in the past. <gasps> Best idea ever! We could call Thomas Edison and consult with him. Or prank call him. What was that? that? No, no, nothing, nothing. Uh, so about that phone. Better get on it, sisters. Less talky, more history phone makey. We're already done. Hmm? <laughs> wow, that was inexplicably fast. Well, our work here is done. Uh, we'll just leave now. Hello, Thomas Edison here. <laughs> From the future, you say. Wonderful. How may I help you? Resolves our dematerializing ray issues. Well, I hope you find much success with all your inventions. Thanks, Mr. Edison. Oh, before you go, I have hypothesized that in the future, everyone will have superpowers. Is this true? Uh, no. Not yet, anyway. Perhaps it should be your next invention. <laughs> well, gotta go. Later. Hmm. Maybe we should work on the superpower ray in the future. In the meantime, wanna go dematerialize? You even have to ask. <laughs> Hurry, Hurry, call time! time. <laughs> Yellow. Is Mr. or Mrs. Wall there? 
No, there are no walls here. Then what holds up the ceiling? <laughs> Confound it! <laughs> Free concert tickets. And all I have to do is run around outside with a kite? Ooh, Ben Franklin likey. <laughs> I bow it. Marie Curie's the name. Radioactivity is the game. This is an emergency announcement. <laughs> Aliens are attacking. Take shelter immediately. Da Vinci Residence, Leonardo speaking. Hi, I'm looking for a Mr. O'Brains, first name Ivan. <laughs> Ivan O'Brains? <gasps> you have no brains? What? Hey, I know, I didn't mean to that. <laughs> You're the one who said it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a time to invade some revenge. <laughs> the name Alexander Graham Bell will forever be associated with this magnificent invention. Hey! Oh. Hello? Hi, uh, do you have a blue shirt? A blue shirt? Well, yes, I do. Ah, then why don't you cheer it up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid telephone machine! <laughs> <laughs> Dookie, prank calling people from the past is your best idea ever! And don't you forget it until everything goes terribly wrong. <laughs> yes, I'm looking for a Mr. or Mrs. Wall. Unoriginal scoundrels! You already used that one. But at least now I have your information. Huh? Information? I've tracked your telephone's location and call history. And I see you've been busy calling many of history's greatest minds. Yeah? Well, what are you gonna do? Build a time machine and come get us? <laughs> 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 Build one? No, I've already got one! <laughs> and now to assemble my team! What? Oh, my rib, my rib. You couldn't build a bigger time machine or what? Ow! Hey, Franklin! Do me a favor and invent a big batch of Be Quiet! Now, off to future Pork Belly for the real lesson of history. Revenge! How could we possibly do that without superpowers? Oh, I'm way ahead of you. It's taken years, but we've perfected the Super Power Ray! Edison's dream is finally a reality. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Edison stole our invention! Yes! This isn't just a history book. It's a phone book! Who knew something from school would actually be useful? Attention, Park Belly! We are... The League of Exceptional Historical Figures! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Exceptionally old! <laughs> Recognize that cackling laughter anywhere? Oh, it's the goons who pranked us! Historical figures, time to unleash our superpower pranks! Our superpowers combined, we shall seek vengeance on that flame headed boy and his hairy friend! Attack! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear cream pie. Not my favorite. This is what I call a long distance range. <laughs> Would you mind holding this? Why, certainly. <laughs> We're history, Johnny! Not yet. Look! Landfills, prepare to be dematerialized! We'll use that dematerializer to zap these guys back to the past! Not so fast, young prankster! Hey, duck! Johnny! What did you do? Nothing. Well, maybe I made a prank phone call or two. Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's bad. Well, it did dematerialize. Uh, hey, historical figures. <laughs> did I tell you uh, how good you look for your age? Ah! <laughs> now to paint another masterpiece of Frank. Hold the tight. Have a good fly. I'm no match for history's greatest geeks. Please, I'm sorry. I'll never prank again. That's what we want to hear. We're doing important work, and we don't need prank calls distracting us. You have my promise. I won't do it anymore. Apology accepted. Johnny, snack time. Bring in your historical reenactor friends for some tater tots. That's my great. <laughs> and just a dash of salt. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Should we stop this? Nah, Dad needs to learn a lesson about the dangers of salt-related pranks. <laughs> <laughs> Call this family meeting to order. If this is about the half shark, half alligator, I may or may not have set free. It's not my fault. It's theirs. What? You asked us for it. But you created it. Responsible sisters would have said no. He's right. You're grounded. But that's not what this meeting's about. Well, if it's about the giant sinkhole in the backyard, it wasn't us. Johnny took our sonic sound cannon and tried to strike oil. Actually, it was to create waves so I could surf in the pool. You're grounded, too. But first, we're going on vacation! What are you groaning about? Quick discount trips are great! Great? Like climbing Mount Neverest for free by working as Sherpas? Or stowing away on a zoo supply ship? Or knitting camp where we knit mittens and scarves for two weeks! Those scarves will keep you warm all winter. Look, kids, your father wants to go to the Upchuck Geysers, and we're all going whether we like it or not. The Upchuck Geysers? You know, that could be kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be a good place to test our portable geothermal power plant. No, no, no experiments! I've waited my whole life for this vacation, and nothing's gonna ruin it! Wait a minute. You've waited your whole life to see the ground sneeze? <laughs> when I was little, we tried to go, but my Uncle Lou's RV broke down before we got there. And that's exactly why we're recreating my failed childhood trip in an RV! An RV? Sweet! I've seen awesome ones on Lifestyles of the Rich and Roaming. I bet our RV has a jacuzzi, satellite internet, oh, and a personal chef. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no personal chef in that. Oh, I was wrong. Not only was it cheap, but they threw in two weeks of free food. As much French bread, hot sauce, salami, and sardines as we could eat. Well, at least we won't starve. No, but we might barf. This is going to be a great family vacation. And with no TV, no video games, and no lab, nothing can ruin it. Nothing! By combining our forces, we can finally destroy Johnny Test and make him pay for all the times he's foiled us. Yeah, especially that time with aluminum foil. Uh, worst Johnny Stopping Evil Force 5 barbecue ever! We've had problems in the past because we were underarmed, but now we will destroy Johnny in a barrage of overkill! <laughs> Airball! All right, Johnny Test, we're here to destroy you! Come out with your hands up! Hello? Johnny! You haven't got all day, you know! Hey! Nobody's home! Where'd he go? I believe that's them, sir. Road trip! Sorry, I always wanted to yell that and never had a reason. Brilliant! We'll battle him on the road, but we'll need the element of surprise. If only there were a way for us to blend in, yet still be intimidating. Ooh, idea, idea. Can we be a biker gang? I always wanted to do that. Ooh, yes. Us in cool pleather jackets will surely destroy Johnny Tess. I know. Pleather makes my biker gang look absolutely fierce. 
Could this be any more boring? Probably not. But we've decided to kill time by building a smartphone out of what we could find in the RV. Yeah? How about you build a brick I can throw through the window to escape? I don't know why you're fighting this, Johnny. This is Dad's dream. The wheels on the RV go round and round, round and round. Well, round it's my round. nightmare. Um, does your nightmare include a biker gang? Prepare to be destroyed, Johnny Test! Are you kidding? This is awesome! Dad will totally run for home when things start exploding. Hey! Over here! Come and get me! Are you sure about this, Johnny? If you go home, you're gonna be grounded. He's right. Haven't you noticed Dad has been in a good mood this whole trip? He hasn't gotten mad at all! The dad in the RV says, pack, 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 pack. It's true! Pack, pack, he hasn't pack, wagged pack, his finger pack, or put his hands on his hips once. Whoa! You're right! We need to stop those bozos from ruining Dad's vacation! But how? We don't have our lab, and our phone only works with the RV. Hmm. Then it's time to play with our food. How about a loaf to go? <laughs> Ice is nice! Not... Taste of my cat claw! Speaking of taste, how about a snack? Ah, stupid dog! Cats love sardines! Yeah. So do birds, sir. <laughs> um, someone want to tell me how we're going to keep fighting off those bikers with groceries? We're going to have to take a stand and face them. But we'll have to figure out a way to make Dad stop when and where we want. Bet we can if Dad thinks we're enjoying the road trip. Hey, Dad, there's a lot of neat things to see on the way. I was wondering if we could stop at the world's largest toaster. Toaster? Now that's the spirit, son! How do I look? Nice and toasty, I bet. <laughs> Johnny Test, it's time to meet your doom! Yeah, okay, but don't you want some giant toast first? Oh, boy, do I. Toast coming up! It is a toaster. Did I mention I love toast? Like 50 times already? Ow, ow, hot! Oh, it's hot! We have got to get out of here! <laughs> oh, this is a ball. A ball of yarn! <laughs> you may have tricked us last time, Johnny, but this time we will not be distracted in any way! Ooh, ball of yarn! Kitty, want to play? Now! This is a barrel of fun! <laughs> you've tricked us with things we love, but this time you've done yourself in by giving Brain Freezer unlimited fuel for the icing. Attack! Care for a little spice with your ice? Hot sauce. Oh, up jump geysers! We made it! Aha! Mm -hmm. Now we've got you! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> pretty sure we do! <laughs> Albert! Uh, uh, sorry, sirs. Moo hoo ha! Now it is we who have used you! Vacations stop against you. When the clock strikes noon, you'll be the ones flying through the air to your doom. <laughs> Say, who wants a smoothie? Well, a national monument's as good a place to die as any. Too bad this geyser doesn't have an escape ladder. Nope, but it could have an escape rope like the one that's holding the RV door on. Any chance you can connect to the RV with that smartphone? Yep. I set up a remote connection to the RV's old cruise control system. Oh, great. I finally make it here and somebody's parked their RV right on top of the geysers. Uh, I think that's our RV. <laughs> Got it. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's having his family 
pristine cleaned by one of the wonders of the world. Not if we surf our way out. Grab the rope. Hmm. I don't understand how it got here. Maybe it wanted a better view. Hey, mister, that's your RV? Yes, but I didn't park it here. Well, please move it. We're expecting sweet revenge to blow any time now. I'll move it, honey. Having come all this way, I don't want you to miss the show. Now, where did the kids go? We're alive! They're alive! Attack! <laughs> yeah, I should have kept my mouth shut. What are we gonna do? Let's show them what the geyser looks like on the inside. for you. Ah, great. I missed the geyser. What? After all that driving? You kids ruined your father's vacation. Not if I've got any hot sauce left. Ooh, hot sauce. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate that hot sauce. That's it? Oh, well, back to the RV. What? But we just got here. And we saw it. Dream fulfilled. Get in the RV. Don't know that your sneezing can make Dad so happy. Yeah!